Hello everyone, I am back, obviously, as you can tell, um, and look, I figured out that I can actually prop my phone up against my water, <laughs> so I'm not gonna hold it while I talk and talk and talk, um, so good for you guys, you can now see me using my hands to talk instead of typing, which is what I should be doing, but anyway, so I'm taking a break? from my project, my Camp NaNoWriMo work in progress. Um, I should not be doing this because I know that I'm very prone to distraction at this point in the process, but anyway, so real quick update. Um, I am in the middle-ish of chapter five of this story, the story that has a title, a working title that I have not announced anywhere because I'm being very secretive about this particular project because I love it so much and I am, I have a really good feeling about this story and I think that's why I'm a little bit protective of it and I'm not talking about it. I'm not really posting anything on Twitter or Facebook or like anywhere because I just, I don't want people to, I don't know. I don't want to say that I don't want people to steal it, even though that's part of it. Um, you know, nothing against most of the writing community, because most of you guys are awesome, but, um, you know, not everybody's like you, so. So, I'm, I'm about, uh, word count says I have 1,150 words in this document. Uh, when I'm in the middle of drafting, I usually write my chapters in separate documents so I know how much I've written at the end of the day and then I just basically copy and paste it into my main document and then from there I update my word count thingy on, on Camp Nano's website. Um, so I'm, see I'm like at the weird point in this chapter where I've said everything that I intended to say when I first started writing earlier this evening and now I'm stuck. And this happens a lot, okay? I'm not a fast drafter, I'm a pantser. And for some people that means they write really, really quickly, but for me it means that the story is very unpredictable. And this story is, it's exciting, it's fun. Um, it's really different from what I normally write. <laughs> and I'm enjoying it, but I'm also, I, I'm getting stuck a lot because it's so different and it's so, it's really testing my metal, my creative metal, as it were. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can like turn something around here. I'll turn my computer around, turn the screen down a little bit first of all. All right, turn that around, and then turn me around. I don't know if you can see anything. Uh, I I see glare. Hang on, let me turn the screen down a little bit. Hmm. Improvement. Uh. Uh, no, no, no improvement. Okay, that's all right. Um, you're just gonna have to take my word for it that there are a lot of words on the screen. Ah, oh, reposition that, there we go. Okay, so, off the top of my head, um, I think I've written about 8,000 words. I think it's a little bit more now. Uh, and that includes the words I've written today because I kind of feel like I want to stop because I'm on a high note, you know, like I don't, I don't like pushing myself too far beyond like my word count goals for the day because um, I have this really bad habit of overdoing it and then I get stressed and then it doesn't feel like a good writing day. So I don't know, maybe that's not the right way to write a book, but it is the way that I write a book. So, um, so you know, going off of that feeling of ending on a high note means that sometimes I end at 300 words or like 25 words but I don't I'm not so worried about that because I know that I write every day so I will catch up eventually um but while we're on the topic of writing every day I've been having this thought I'm gonna turn this slightly don't want anything to fall down here <laughs> Okay, so um, I've been having a couple thoughts lately about, um, you know, my writing process and in particular I've been thinking about fast drafting, fast, fast drafting, something like that, because um, I've heard quite a few writers in the writing community talk about it 
Um, and I've been thinking about it in the context of my own creative process and whether or not I would consider myself to be a fast drafter. I don't know why I'm struggling with that word, but anyway. Um, and so I actually had to look it up because I wasn't sure if it was as self-explanatory as it sounds or if there was more to it than what I thought it was about. Um, so basically, if you are not familiar with the term, fast drafting just means that you write the book really quickly. And for some people, this works. For me, I'm a little bit of a slug <laughs> in the drafting stage. And um, I'm not ashamed of that, okay? I, I really do try to take my time with the story because I know that I'm a ruthless editor. And if I draft too quickly, I am going to get just completely overwhelmed and frustrated and frankly pissed off in the revision stage because um, I will have way too much content that needs to be deleted or revamped or whatever. So uh, I do not draft particularly quickly and that might be part of the reason why I've only won one NaNoWriMo out of three, I think. I think I've done it three times and this is my first time doing camp. And I don't, I don't want to uh, jinx myself, but I think I may not be able to reach my camp goal of 20,000 by the end of the month. I don't know. I'm, I'm not trying to um, discourage myself too soon, but I'm being realistic and I'm being honest. And unless I really get to my, my intense scenes, my exciting scenes soon, um, yeah, I don't think that's happening, but that's okay, because I'm not, for me, it's not like um, a really strict process, it's more of a guideline, like, okay, I want to try to reach that goal by the end of the month, but if I don't, I'm not going to feel bad about it. Um, anyway, that was a long way around to a point, <laughs> which is, um, I'm not a fast drafter, I'm um, a more deliberate drafter, I tend to write first, and then go back and reread and rewrite and just it's a very kind of like intimate back and forth if you know what I mean um so I'm not I'm not a very quick writer and as if that was not proof enough like look at this okay so I told you guys about Roads Untraveled the last time and um I think I've mentioned this probably five or six times but this one particular book Okay, not a very thick one either. It's about 75,000 words. Um, that took me three and a half years. Okay, and that, that includes drafting, rewriting, uh, editing, formatting, all the complications and the miscommunications and the various other assorted issues that I was having with the small press that I was going to publish with that eventually resulted in me self-publishing because they said they, that they did not want to publish books anymore, which is fine, okay, whatever. So, ordinarily it doesn't take me that long, but <laughs> uh, if I'm being perfectly honest, that's probably closer to the truth than, you know, people who write a book in three months. You know, I, if we were to put it on a spectrum, you know, with fast drafter being on one end, writing everything in three months, and people like me being on the other end in three years, like, I'm kind of in the middle, on average. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm taking my time. I really enjoy what I'm writing so far, and that's not to say, like, oh, it's really super good, because it's not, it's pretty rough, but, um, I think part of the reason why it's so rough and the fact that it's taken me so long is just because um I'm writing this book from a male perspective <laughs> and so I've I've had to spend a lot of time observing and researching and just trying to get inside a completely different kind of head than the one <laughs> I just realized how that sounded but no that that's not the point I'm making this is just a completely new and different thing for me and uh so Evans for some context he's 16 uh he's an amateur wrestler he goes to high school obviously public school um and he's also harboring a really 
big secret that he is not able to tell anybody about. He can't talk to his parents. He can't talk to his best friend. Um, and you know it's bad when you can't tell your best friend. Uh, he can't tell his teachers. And he sure as hell can't tell the girl that he likes, uh, even though she's all wrapped up in this big secret of his. Uh, so basically the whole story is him trying to make contact with her. He's, like, he's trying to adjust to his life after this big, bad, scary thing that happened. I'm not giving it away here and now. Uh, but he's, he's trying to lead a normal life, and he's trying to... He's just really trying to be okay with everything that is happening to him, and that has happened to him up to this point. Um, but, of course, the more the story goes on, the more he realizes it's becoming increasingly difficult for him to hide the secret and, you know, to, to pretend that everything's okay when he knows that it's not. So, um, that is a very vague summary of what I'm writing about. It's probably going to be YA, but I don't know if it's going to be a YA contemporary or urban fantasy. I think it's going to fall a little bit in between the two, which is fine, but um, again, I'm really not a big fan of putting labels on things and trying to pigeonhole the writing process too much. So, yeah, that's that's where that's at. Uh, <laughs> I, um, I ended up not working on this story for a few days because uh, one, I had a lot of stuff going on at work, and I don't want to get into it right here and now, but um, I I said I wasn't going to do this, but I needed to do this, even though it's in the middle of camp, nano. Um, so, this is the proof of Fate Unwritten, which I showed you last time. Um, what I didn't show you was all the little tabs it has, all the little page markers, and just you know, all the edits and everything like that. I I had to make a bunch of little adjustments uh, to the book. It took me a lot of time. Um, but no, I, I knew that it had to be done, and that's why you haven't heard me talk about any of these books, like any of my books. <laughs> um, because, yeah, I, I was dawdling. But, anywho. Writing's hard. <laughs> I don't know why I do this to myself. Um, but yeah, writing's really hard. Anyway, so this is just a really quick video. I, I don't know how to do quick videos, okay, because I'm a rambler. Um, which comes in handy with this guy because he's a rambler too. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to touch base really quickly to say that I am making measurable progress. Okay, I'm not just saying it, I'm actually showing you that there's progress happening on this computer. And hopefully by the time I check in with you guys next time, like two weeks from now, I, I'm going to check in two weeks from now because that'll be the end of camp. Um, hopefully I will have, if not achieved my goal of 20,000, I will at least be very close to it. And I think I can probably get close if not actually all the way to my goal. So I'm going to wrap it up, um, I'm, I don't want to go back to writing, <laughs> that sounds so bad, I'm not even on my, like I, I've, I've met my word count goal for the day, but I'm behind, and I know I can do more, but I don't want to do more, <laughs> I'm tired, uh, okay, um, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to be good, I'm going to try and and stick with it a little bit longer for tonight and then um I go do some reading I don't know I I'm really like I I just kind of do whatever I want in the moment I'm not like a very dedicated planner <laughs> as you can tell uh, okay so I'm gonna wrap it up and and not keep rambling I don't want to do that I don't feel like doing this anymore so I will talk to you guys very soon, and in the meantime, if you want updates, if if you want to do whatever you want to do, then you know where to find me. And I will leave some links down below in case this is your first time here and you have no idea how you got here. <laughs> I'll help you find your way home. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in approximately 
two weeks. I don't know if it will be exactly two weeks because I'm not very disciplined about this whole blogging thing. I'm going to sign off and you guys take care. Have a great night and I will see you soon.